the process of freezing all of my peppers from the garden so I will have them for future use. I've done a video before on freezing peppers. Those were just bell peppers. Um, but any peppers is the same. You don't need to blanch them. You just chop them up and freeze them. But one of the tips I have for doing this that I thought I'd share is uh, to label your peppers so that you don't get them mixed up, especially if you are mixing various heats. So I have my my sweet peppers here. These are uh, red bells and orange snacking peppers. They're both sweet. And then poblanos, which are hot, and anaheims, which are medium. And I have both uh, fully ripe red anaheims here and some green ones, which is how you usually see them in the store. But yeah, everything has a label. And you can reuse your parchment paper, but I would advise that if you do, um, if you're going to do uh, hot peppers and sweet peppers on the same tray again, you make sure the sweet ones are on one side and the hot ones are on the other. You can cross out your, your name if you have a different kind of hot pepper. Um, but don't put hot peppers on the sweet side or sweet peppers on the hot side or you're going to end up um, with some heat on your sweet peppers that you may not want later on. Alright, another tip when you're working with peppers um, is always wear a glove unless you're working just with sweet peppers and then you're probably fine. Any peppers with medium to hot heat you want to wear a glove because you will at some point rub your eyes during the day if you don't and you will be in well, complete and utter agony and you won't do it just once, oh no. You'll do it four or five times throughout the day. And every time you'll go, how could I do that again? It hurts so much the first time, the second time, the third time, the fourth time. So just always wear a glove and keep your hands away from your eyes.